So I am here in Seattle. Just arrived a little while ago. Uh, drove from the airport about an hour here to the hotel. Uh, but before I arrived at the hotel, I actually had to make a stop by the local Target because it is like 44 degrees here in Seattle. And that's cold, right? I live in San Francisco, but 44 degrees is pretty cold. I don't know that I'm fully prepared for that, partly because the collection is actually in a storage facility. And of course there's no heat there. And so I uh, packed a couple of things, but I don't think it was enough. So I made a quick run by the Target to pick up a couple of items uh, to ensure that I could actually hunt and be somewhat comfortable during uh, tomorrow's festivities. So I am super pumped to be here. I uh, am going to meet the family uh, early tomorrow morning. I think around 7.30 we'll meet up and we will start the hunt. I have my eye on a couple of things that they've already found in the collection and sent me photos of. So there's a couple of things that I'm already aware of that I know that I want, um, but there are still a couple of hundred long boxes that have not been touched. So I'm super excited about digging into those, uh, but also about seeing the books that have already been pulled from this amazing collection. So as always guys, I'm gonna make you guys part of this process. I've already shot some footage as part of my arrival here. I will continue to shoot, and then I will be releasing these videos in the next several days. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. It is Sunday morning, Veterans Day, and I am headed to the storage facility. I'm about 10 minutes away from where this place is located, uh, and it is a cold, cloudy, foggy day. It is 32 degrees outside, and it is freezing, but I am bundled up, and uh, I'm ready for the hunt. I'm going to stop off here in a couple of moments and get a cup of coffee, uh, get myself warm, and uh, we're going to make it happen, so wish me luck, guys. So I am back in my hotel room. I just spent the last few hours hunting through long box after long box in the storage unit and it was freezing. Thankfully, they actually had some propane heaters set up in the storage unit. Uh, they had what they called a, a Reggie warming station. So that was pretty cool because I had a propane heater. They actually hooked me up with some gloves and some other things to kind of keep me warm, which was, which was very nice of them. Uh, but uh, had an amazing time had uh, an opportunity to continue digging in these long boxes and I walked away with a short box full of some amazing comics uh, for myself and also for you guys. That's right, we are going to pass on what was Uncle thinking back to the comic book community as part of Trivia Night. So I will be showing you at some point the books that have been made available so that you guys can share and what uncle was actually thinking. And I, I have a feeling that you guys are going to enjoy the books that are gonna be offered up. So I'll be working to schedule the next trivia night that will be dedicated to what uncle was thinking. So I hope you guys will participate in, in that trivia night so that you can actually pick up some of these amazing books that have been made available for the comic book community. And as I mentioned in some of my recent uh, videos, the, the family is essentially working through me to give back to the comic book community. So I'm very thankful to them for giving me this opportunity to to, to be the conduit to share some amazing books with you guys. So a uh, huge shout out to them um, and shout out to you guys for those that choose to participate in the, the upcoming trivia night. So I am back home in San Francisco and I have defrosted from my trip to Seattle. 
it was cold up there. I am definitely happy to be home. I spent this evening with my, uh, my wife and kids. Now I'm in the comic book room and I wanted to take a moment to show you guys some of the books that I brought back from Seattle. The problem is, is that I literally got an entire short box full of comics, way too many comics to actually show in one video. So I'm actually gonna break this thing up into several videos that I'll be releasing over the next couple of days. What I did want to do, however, was to actually show you guys some of the books that have been donated by the family for an upcoming trivia night. I still need to plan the trivia night, so you guys bear with me as I try to identify a date that will actually work with my schedule, but I at least wanted to show you guys some books in this first video of several that I'll be releasing. So let's go ahead and take a look at those books that will be made available for free as part of my trivia night. I don't know all of what makes these books significant, so I may need some assistance from you guys to identify some of them because there are some DC books in this stack. And the very first one is a Watchmen number one that is going to be available. It's actually, I think just about all of these books are in pretty solid shape. So Watchmen number one is up there. Uh, we have a DC book, uh, Power Girl number 20. That is also, it's a pretty nice cover. It's a white cover and it is, it is pretty clean. A little bit of uh, some scuff marks, but I just think that's more of a production thing. Uh, we are going to continue with some more Power Girl uh, number 18. I think the family recognizes how much you guys like Power Girl. I'm not quite sure why, but they uh, gave us several. Uh, here is Batgirl number 12. Pretty cool cover there. We have a, uh, I don't know, Superman in Green Lantern number 26. This is a 50 cent book. Got that one right there. I think I've seen this one around, but again, I don't know the significance of this book, to be honest with you. You guys know that. I'm not a, not a DC guy per se. We have Origin. Uh, I think this is uh, part one. A little Wolverine action there. Gorgeous cover. We have uh, Deadpool number 11. Pretty cool book there. We have Catwoman number 70. This is uh, an Adam Hughes cover. Very cool book. Thankfully, Adam Hughes always signs in a way that I can easily read and see his book, so that's cool. We have Amazing Spider-Man number 174, featuring the, uh, the Punisher there on the cover. Star Wars number 42, and I believe that this is the first appearance of Bobo Fat. I guess that's how you say it. Uh, we have a little ROM action. ROM number one. This one actually doesn't have a, uh, a board in it, so I'm gonna stick one in here, but that's ROM number one. And here is ROM number 51. Again, all of these books will be made available at some point in the near future as part of my trivia night. We have a very popular book as of late. It is the uh, appearance of Hydro Man, Amazing Spider-Man 315, and it's also a headshot of, uh, of Venom over there. Pretty cool book. Speaking of Venom, we have uh, Venom, Venom, The Enemy Within, Part 1. Pretty cool book there. Pretty cool cover. And again, it's in, um, in pretty decent shape. On the Venom kick here, we, Venom, License to Kill, Number 3. And then we have the all-new X-Men, Number 1. This is actually a book that I just showed in a previous video not that long ago of uh, X-Men number ones. And then we are going to finish this thing up with all new X-Men number four. So there you go. A lot of really cool books that the family has opted to make available. Again, I wanna thank them for giving me the opportunity to be the conduit through which they are choosing to give back to the comic book community. So as I mentioned, there are still a lot of books next to me that I'm going to be releasing as part of videos over the next several days. I hope that you guys will come back and watch those videos. As always, I want to thank you for taking the time out and come back soon.